An excessive heat warning that is not glorious remains in effect here as the valley swelters. Monsoon season started on the calendar June 15th, but so far we haven't seen a hint of it here in the valley. And since we have not gotten any moisture, that is putting us in a critical fire weather pattern. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia is live to explain. Nicole. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Well, no monsoon rains. That's good news for our upcoming fireworks shows this evening. But no monsoon rain also means all that dried, crispy vegetation. It's just that, dried and crispy vegetation. And then when you add extreme heat, we're more likely to have firestorms instead of thunderstorms. This time last year, several monsoon storms had already rolled through the valley. But this year, the monsoon moisture has been a no-show. The only water pouring down, it seems, can be found at splash pads and pools. There's not a thunderstorm in sight for the next couple of weeks, but many Phoenicians are eagerly awaiting a good storm. I am because it helps us cool down. And with all the rain, it's kind of good for us, not so we don't, we're not in the heat all the time. About this time of year, as I mentioned, the humidity would start kind of moving into the southwest out of Mexico. And that, just having a little bit of humidity would actually lower the fire danger. So we're still really bone dry. The conditions across Arizona right now are ripe for fast spreading flames and dangerous wildfires. We are enter entering such a critical period for fire because we haven't really had any monsoon rains yet. We are getting a lot of lightning. We are getting a lot of strong winds. Um, it's going to be hot. It's going to be dry. So um, any spark can can you know set up conditions for a um, a big wildfire. However, experts say models show a possibility of extreme wet weather later this year. I think later in the season, keeping an eye on that El Nino event could bring us some tropical storm activity to the southwest in September and maybe even October. Well, the good thing, as we always say, it's a dry heat, and personally, I'd rather have this dry heat instead of the humidity, which could be very suffocating, and hopefully, crossing our fingers, we're not going to have to wait until October or September for any rain to come down. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.